It's time to plan our next attack. What's the state of the Inquisition? We're well loved in Orle. Say the words and Empress Selene will send her support. And your actions at Adamant denied Corypheus his army of pet demons. With Orle's support, our numbers match his. Corypheus' followers must be panicking. My agents agree. Our victories have shaken his disciples. Perhaps they'll rethink following the Darkspawn Magister from the dawn of time. Where is Corypheus now? After you dealt with the Duchess, Corypheus uprooted his major strongholds. He's moving south to the Arbor Wilds. His army clearly wasn't prepared to flee. Our victories have them on the defensive. They've terrorized Thedas long enough. We end them now. If Corypheus is hiding in the Arbor Wilds, that's where we'll go. But what is Corypheus doing in such a remote area? His people have been ransacking elven ruins since Haven. We believe he seeks more. What he hopes to find, however, continues to elude us. Which should surprise no one. Fortunately, I can assist. You have my attention, Lady Morrigan. What Corypheus seeks in those Forgotten Woods is as ancient as it is dangerous. Which is? His best, if I show you. This is an Illuvian, an elven artifact from a time long before their empire was lost to human greed. I restored this one at great cost, but another lies within the Arbor Wilds. That is what Corypheus seeks. You can restore an artifact like this. There was a price, but one I gladly paid. I found legends of an elven temple within the Arbor Wilds. Untouched, it proved too dangerous to approach, and thus I turned elsewhere to find my prize. If Corypheus has turned southward, he could succeed where I failed. The Illuvian would be his. What does it do? A more appropriate question would be, where does it lead? If this place once had a name, it has long been lost. I call it the Crossroads, a place where all Illuvians join, wherever they might be. This place is extraordinary. How could this even exist? Who can say? Formed from the fabric of time and space, perhaps. The ancient elves left no roads, only ruins hidden in far-flung corners. This is how they traveled between them. As you can see, most of the mirrors are dark, broken, corrupted, or unusable. As for the rest, a few can be opened from this side, but... Only a few. How did you find out about this place? My travels have led me to many strange destinations, Inquisitor. Once, they led me here. It offered sanctuary. Sanctuary? Not all the mirrors lead back to our world. The ancients were nothing if not resourceful. If they don't lead back to our world, then 
places between, like this one. I can describe it no better. For a time, I was safe from those who hunted me, but only for a time. One cannot remain in between forever. What do you mean, a few can be open from this side? Some of the Illuvians have been left unlocked, like doors accidentally left ajar. All others are closed. They can be opened only from beyond. Opened how? With a key. I suppose you have such a key? The key can be many things. Each Illuvian is different. I have knowledge as well as power. Often that is enough. Corypheus wants to come here. This is not the Fade, but it is very close. Someone with enough power could tear down the ancient variant. And enter the Fade in the flesh, like Corypheus wanted to do with the Anchor. He learned of the Illuvian in the Arbor Wilds as I did. He marshals the last of his forces to reach it. You have made Corypheus desperate, Inquisitor. We must work together to stop him, and soon. Will you not consider it, Lady Cassandra? The clerics are still sequestered. If no one steps forward, they will debate until... And you think I could make them agree? I've had enough for one day, Mother Giselle. Talk to her, Your Worship. Is there a problem? It seems like she's bothering you. Mother Giselle is kind, and she means well. So, yes, she was. I assume you've heard that Leliana and I are both candidates to be the next Divine. Because of what happened at Halam Shiral, of course, the Empire favors you. Thus, everyone close to you. So now the Chantry bandies our names about without even asking us first. How can you and Leliana be candidates? You're not even priests. It's not without precedent. Amara III was sister to the Emperor, and Galatea a commoner. Leliana and I were, at least, part of the Chantry hierarchy. It would be accepted. I think you'd make an excellent divine. Truly? I never look good in hats. Surely it was never meant to be like this. The Chantry, the Circle of Magi, the Templars, this cannot be what they intended when it all began. The Chantry should provide faith, hope. Instead, it cannot veer from its course, even in the face of certain death. I'm surprised to hear you, of all people, say that. Oh? Am I not the same woman who declared the Inquisition against the Chantry's wishes? In all my years as a Seeker, I did what I was told. My faith demanded it. But now my faith demands something else. That I see with better eyes. Many extraordinary things have happened to get us to this point. I'm not so certain. I think it has been a long time coming. Did you know Varric is Andrastian? Oh, he blasphemes with every second breath, but deep down he believes. His heart is virtuous. But he would never step foot in a Chantry. It should be the first place to which the virtuous turn. It needs to change. Perhaps I must be the one to change it.
determination is admirable. Some men would call it an unattractive trait. I'm not those men. Truer words have not been spoken. Who's using flattery now? <laughs> I have influence, and I can use it to help the Chantry make up its mind. I cannot ask you to do that. You don't have to. If you think that is the right thing to do, then thank you. I suppose I should not be so concerned. The clerics speak my name for now, nothing more. For now, restoring order and stopping Corypheus remain our priority. Be careful, Inquisitor. Dragon blood can change you in ways you will not expect. How do you know that? Dragon hunters were once revered in Navarra, and the Pentagasts were the most famous. Many of my family became reavers, harnessing the power of dragon's blood against their quarry. But each one went terribly insane in the end. Eventually, it was forbidden. They all went mad. It was their own doing, I understand. Greed drove them to use more and more. The blood deformed them, caused growth, scales, things of that nature. They became enraged by little things. In time, that rage swallowed them. They committed murders, killed entire families, unspeakable things. Tales from hundreds of years ago, of course, likely exaggerated, but perhaps not entirely. I don't like the sound of that. If anyone is a match for Dragon's blood, it is you. I only suggest caution. I was hoping we could spend some time together. With you? Always. You are quite distracting, you know. So you're a candidate for Divine now? So I am informed. Is that something you actually want? Why should what I want matter? Why shouldn't it matter? Don't you have the right to be happy? It is very simple. The Chantry needs to survive. To do that, it must change. I have never believed in asking another to do what you are unwilling to do yourself. So I look upon this as an opportunity. I owe it to myself and all of Thedas to seek the Sunburst throne. I think you'd make an excellent choice. Thank you. Let's hope the Chantry clerics agree. That's enough for now. We shall speak again soon. The Spy Master has confirmed it. Blackwall is gone. Go on. Liliana knows where he is, doesn't she? She knows everything. She doesn't know everything, yet. Sister Liliana had us search the Warden's quarters. Not much to find, except this. It was missing from last week's reports. I don't know what Blackwall's interest in this particular matter is, but it could be a good place to start.
Cyril Mornay, for your crimes against the Empire of Orlais. For the murders of General Vincent Callier, Lady Laurette Callier, their four children, and their retainers, you are sentenced to be hanged from the neck until dead. Do you have anything to say in your defense? Very well. Oh, this is grim. Look at all these people. I thought we were more civilized than this. Proceed. Stop! A Grey Warden. This man is innocent of the crimes laid before him. Orders were given and he followed them like any good soldier. He should not die for that mistake. Then find me the man who gave the order. Oh, shit. Blackwall! No, I am not Blackwall. I never was Blackwall. Warden Blackwall is dead, and has been for years. I assumed his name to hide like a coward from who I really am. You, after all this time. It's over. I'm done hiding. I gave the order. The crime is mine. I am Tom Rainier. You swear it's true. They saw her in Valshavet. One of her friends was killed. Can you be? It. Tom Rainier himself. She was in Starkin. You must know something about Rainier. I know what everyone knows. He'll that hang for the massacre person. of a noble and his family. Where did they take the prisoner? In the jail of the marketplace. If you've goodbyes to say, say them now. It's a damned mess, but believe you me, it'll be sorted out quick. Lots of people can't wait to see that man swing. Guess not. for another day, I think. Forgive me my distractions, Eminence. I'm overwhelmed by you and what you've done. My name is Meredith, a humble bard. What do you bring to the Inquisition? A simple thing that you know well. The power of a muse to rally hearts and minds. Inquisitor, I want to spread the word of what you've done. A small but vital role. Perhaps I'll also make a coin or two. Are you a bard like those of Orlais? Oh, heavens no. I'm a minstrel first. My weapon is a cutting tongue, not blade. I hope my skills will help in some small way. If only I can give your deeds their due. Carry on then. Oh, I will do my best, Inquisitor.
I didn't take Blackwall's life. I traded his death. He wanted me for the Wardens, but there was an ambush. Darkspawn. He was killed. I took his name to stop the world from losing a good man. But a good man, the man he was, wouldn't have let another die in his place. Was the bailiff telling the truth? Did you really do those things? Yes, I did. It's all true. It's time we all took a good look at who I really am. Don't you understand? I gave the order to kill Lord Callier, his entourage, and I lied to my men about what they were doing. When it came to light, I ran. Those men, my men, paid for my treason while I was pretending to be a better man. This is what I am. A murderer, a traitor, a monster. I know you're more than what you say. Have some faith in yourself. Liliana's report on Tom Rainier. Give me the overview. Looks like our friend was once a respected captain in the Imperial Orlesian army. Before the Civil War, he was turned, persuaded to assassinate one of Selene's biggest supporters. He led a group of fiercely loyal men on this mission and told them nothing of it. His men took the fall for him. A few lucky ones, like Mornay, managed to escape. This is helpful, or at least educational. Don't blame yourself. We all made this mistake. <sighs> what do we do now? Black War... Renier has accepted his fate, but you don't have to. We have resources. If he's released to us, you may pass judgment on him yourself. If it were up to you, what would happen? What he did to the men under his command was unacceptable. He betrayed their trust, betrayed ours. I despise him for it. And yet he fought as a warden, joined the Inquisition, gave his blood for our cause. And the moment he shakes off his past, he turns around and owns up to it. Why? He wanted to change. To prove that he'd really left his past behind, he had to face up to it. Saving Mornay the way he did took courage. I'll give him that. But I can't tell you what to do. Have Rainier released to us. We must move quickly. We can explore our options back at Skyhold. For judgment this day, Inquisitor, I must present Captain Tom Rainier, formerly known to us as Warden Blackwall. His crimes... Well, you are aware of his crimes. It was no small expense to bring him here, but the decision of what to do with him is now yours. I didn't think this would be easy, but it's harder than I thought. Another thing to regret. Your soldiers took control of the prison. Some of the guards were killed. Men just doing their jobs. A waste of life. I really think you've lost the right to judge anyone. There's enough evil in the world because of me. I accepted my punishment. 
I was ready for all this to end. Why would you stop it? What becomes of me now? Blackwall intended you join the Wardens. I will let them decide your fate, but only when Corypheus is dead. For now, Tom Rainier, the Inquisition needs you. As you command. Blackwall gave you the chance to atone through action, not merely punishment. I find I can do no less. I am grateful for this, Inquisitor. And I will serve for as long as I can. My dear, I'm afraid I must ask you for help. There is an alchemical formula that I must complete, but I have been unable to obtain a critical ingredient. The heart of a snowy wyvern. I had arranged to obtain one, but the Chevaliers working with me were killed in the Civil War. If I'm going to hunt down a snowy wyvern, I need you to tell me everything you know about it. They're quite rare and exceedingly dangerous. Their venom is the most potent of any wyvern. Ordinary hunters would not make the attempt. The risk is too great. You, my dear, would certainly be an equal to this monster. I didn't know you were an alchemist, Vivian. What exactly is this project you're working on? It is a special request from a member of the Council of Heralds. I am still the Imperial Court Enchanter, after all. The matter is private. That is all there is to say. I'm not a hunter. Why do you think I can help? This beast is not hunted for sport, as other women sometimes are. It is far more deadly. In the past, Chevaliers have been dispatched to either kill the creatures or drive them away from villages. Since my Chevaliers have fallen to political conflict, I find myself in need of someone with a martial aptitude. I'll do what I can. Thank you, my dear. I would be most grateful. I shall give the location of its lair to Cullen. Remember, my dear, I must have its heart or the potion will not work. I eagerly await your success. What can I do for you, my dear? Is it too much to hope that you brought me the heart of a snowy wyvern? I've brought you the heart as requested. Inquisitor, you are a treasure. Please accept this as your payment. I must begin work immediately. You have been a dear friend, and I would like you to come with me. This should only take a moment, Inquisitor. I'm here, my darling. My darling, Bastien? Vivienne, I'm sorry. There's nothing here now. Bastien is dead. I can hardly believe. 
It was the Winter Send Ball. My first visit to the Imperial Palace. The Circle sent a dozen of us to entertain the nobility. I was in awe of everyone and everything, and then our eyes met. Bastien spent the entire ball at my side. The Dowager tried to have him killed for slighting her, but he didn't care. Falling in love across a crowded ballroom. Sounds like something out of a children's story. He was a dashing rogue, and any defects he might have had were made up for with rank and importance. It was a more innocent time, I suppose. And now he's gone, and I... I must write to his son, Laurent, and his sister will make a terrible fuss if she isn't informed first. And I'll need to arrange for the Chantry services. Maker only knows how long that will take. If I can help you, just say the word. No, my dear. I'll handle everything. Excuse me, I have so much to do. <laughs> 